Hey guys, welcome back for another video. What do you think of my intro? It's pretty great, right? I think it's pretty cool. No, that was a joke. I don't really have an intro because I'm... Well, I guess technically the things in front of the video are an intro. But that's not important right now. Um, so I still have not finished that Spider-Man book that I got recently. Uh, you know, I'll get to it eventually, one of these days. Um, I'm bad at reading. I still need to watch Luke Cage. I still need to watch The Flash, Season 2. And I need to read books and write stuff and read some more books. I got a lot of stuff to do. But anyway, that's not important right now. Um, yeah. So, uh, like, today, what we're going to talk about is does Superior Spider-Man suck? Because one of you guys in the comments uh, just, you know, shot that out there. And I love it when you guys request videos because that makes my life a lot easier. Because otherwise I, pro I probably wouldn't have an idea of what to record. And that makes my job a lot more difficult. Because if I don't know what I want to record, then I probably won't record. And if I don't record, then my videos come out later than usual. Which is, I don't know, nobody really cares if they come out later than usual. Because I only have like 13 subscribers and whatever. No, I care about you guys. I, I do, because you guys are cool. But, you know, I don't have like a bajillion subscribers waiting for me to come out with the next video. So I don't have as much of a, a pressure, I guess. But I still care about you guys. I like your comments. I like when you suggest videos. But, um, yeah, the main topic of the day will be, does Superior Spider-Man suck? And, in that... Uh, in that case, should Dan Slott still be writing comics? Because, um, if you guys, I mean, I hope you guys would know this already, but he's been writing for a while. He wrote, uh, Big Time Spider-Man, like, or, yeah, Big big Time Spider-Man, where he gets the new glowy suit or whatever. He wrote that. And this came out a while ago. I'm not exactly sure when. Um, let's see here. Sorry. I should know this, but I don't. I'm a horrible person. So, um, this was published in 2011. So that was a while ago. And I thought I heard somewhere that he was doing it even before then, like 2009. So he's been doing it for a while. So should he stop writing comics? He's even doing the whole clone conspiracy thing. Which, do we really need more clones? I don't know, I haven't read it. Um, because I don't read new comics. I just, uh, get my information from Comics Amino and stuff. Hint, hint, wink, wink, sponsor. No, there's no sponsor. But yeah, I mostly just get on there and find out what's fresh and hot and new and fancy and stuff. Uh, if you guys want to hit me up, I... Ultimate Peter Parker, I don't know, I'll probably put an image somewhere in the video, I don't know. If you guys want to follow me on there. Uh, but yeah, I do have a Comics Me Now app. So, you know. But nobody ever goes to my Twitter and nobody ever comments on my videos, so why, I don't know, no, I'm just messing with you guys, you guys are cool, but anyway, so yeah, he's been writing for a while, he wrote Superior Spider-Man, and he wrote, uh, what else, he, dang it, Spider-Man, speak of the devil, fell off my shelf, what a jerk, I have him posed in his battle stance fighting Electro, it's pretty crazy looking, but it works, Anyway, that's aside, beside the point. Um, so I have not finished Spear Spider-Man. Because um, I got a little tired of it after a while. Uh, I have just like, I have just the first three volumes right here. And I do like it a lot. Um, probably one of my favorite parts is, um, is, uh, when he gets like really mad. Hold on. Yeah, like around to this part. Uh, uh, what's her name? Screwball, I think. Something like that. No, it's the gesture. When I like this part a lot when he gets mad at him. And stuff. But, 
uh, you know, there's that. Um, so I picked the first volume up like a couple, a couple years ago, like maybe 2014, maybe. And I picked the other two up like a year ago, something like that. Anyway, but yeah, I do like a lot. It's good stuff. Um, but I see a lot of people hating on it, and I don't really know why. I think it's a good read. Uh, it's not, like, I heard some people say, like, you know, it's not exactly Peter Parker or whatever. But, you know, we don't always need Peter Parker. I mean, I mean, because you always read about Peter Parker, your story to get steal after a while. And this is, like, nobody's ever done this before. It's a very fresh, fresh and exciting take. And I just love that costume. Like, even... Not the second one he had, like the second one's cool and all, but I love like the eyes and just like black and whatnot. It's great stuff. Um, yeah, I really like this series and whatnot. I need to read the rest of it, but I just, you know, I spend my money on other things and stuff. Because right now I'm at volume three or whatever, so I got a little tired of it after a while. Like I finished, I finished the part where he uh, blows up the kingpin's lair, whatever it was, the Shadowland or whatever. I'm pretty sure it's Shadowland from the Daredevil events or crossover thing. So he like, cause he puts all the bad guys in prison, and then he um, like breaks all their bones or whatever it was. And I think, uh, J. Joan Jameson's wife dies, or whatever it is. I, I'm sorry, I should know more about this, but I don't. Um. Yeah, it kind of stops, like, up in here, where the Shadowland stuff happens. I know the quality on this is really bad, but whatever. I don't have a good camera, and I don't. I'm just not good at that stuff. So right as he at the first issue, he gets the new suit. I stopped reading. So a blind eye or whatever. A blind eye issue fourteen is when I stopped reading. So I need to get back on it. Um. So yeah, what do you guys think? Should he stop writing comics? Uh, what do you think is Pure Spider-Man? Um, oh yeah, the trailers. I mentioned the trailers in the last video. With the don't pull comic book covers. Um, well, for one, I'm still waiting on the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer. Hopefully that will come out soon. Maybe sometime, I don't know, whatever. That'll be pretty cool. I'm kind of scared of it, but we'll talk about that later. Um, if you haven't already seen my thoughts on Spider-Man Homecoming, I'll make a video on it or something, I don't know. But, um, yeah. Uh, the Logan trailer was pretty cool, you know. The two we got were, like, just teaser trailers. I feel like there's another trailer that came out, but I'm not sure what it was. I know it was another trailer of sorts, but I forgot what it was. Anyway. And sorry I'd in the last video so short because I just didn't have a battery on my camera, on my phone or whatever. My camera's weird because sometimes it says I have like 26 minutes of filming time, which I like never use 26 minutes. It's nice to have, but I never use it. Like, I did one video that's 20 min 20 21 minutes long. And that's about it. I guess it just depends on what we're talking about. Um, I think I might have a Halloween video coming up. That'll be pretty, inter pr pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so, the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer was pretty funny. Um, with comedies like that, you know, you gotta think, like, will we have, will it be the same stuff, or are we gonna get anything new and exciting? Um, so... Yeah, it's interesting to think about. I'm really, like, I am so excited for Wolverine. Like, he's my second favorite superhero. I'm so excited. 
Like, I am beyond excited. Seriously, I'm like... I'm so pumped for Wolverine. I have Wolverine claws in my closet over there. Just I'm so excited. Um, I don't know what exactly is gonna happen because I mean I'm I'm a huge Wolverine fan, but I'm not, like the biggest Wolverine fan. You know what I mean? I don't know everything. That, I don't know everything about Wolverine. I like the character. Oh, yeah. got the dog tag. Thingy, yeah. You know. There you go. That's there's proof for you. No, I, I'm not. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for the new Wolverine movie. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already know what's gonna happen. Uh, I haven't seen it or anything, but you know, I'm I gotta have a decent idea of what's gonna happen. I think we all do, but it's exciting to think about. Um, if you guys want to talk about that in the comments down below, that's cool. Let's talk about that. My phone is, um, acting kind of weird. So if the quality on this gets, like, really dark for some reason, I'm sorry about that. But, uh, my camera's acting up, which is not good. But, um, yeah, Dan Slot, do you think he should stop writing Spider-Man? I honestly kind of think he, he should because he's been doing it for, like, years now. Not that he's a bad writer, he's written good stuff. I honestly have not read Spider Island or whatever, so I need to read that sometime. Um, I personally like Superior Spider-Man, and I honestly didn't talk a whole lot about Superior Spider-Man, even though that was the topic of the video. Um, yeah, I like Superior Spider-Man. I don't think people should hate on it as much. I, um, sorry, now my camera's about to stop on me, and my words are fluctuating and getting all messed up. My video is really bad. I'm sorry. Um, please uh, comment on stuff you're interested in. We'll talk about that. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe. Uh, hit me on any of my social media. It should be somewhere. I don't know, in there. Uh, thanks for watching. Spider-Man is cool. Bye. Peace. Later.